Well, good afternoon. Now, a lot of Americans have never visited a mosque. And to the folks watching this today who haven't, uh, think of your own church or synagogue or temple. In Muslim communities across our country, this is a time of concern and, frankly, a time of some fear. Like all Americans, you're worried about the threat of terrorism. But on top of that, as Muslim Americans, you also have another concern, and that is your entire community so often is targeted or blamed for the violent acts of the very few. Here at this mosque, twice last year, threats were made against your children. Around the country, women wearing the hijab, just like Saba, have been targeted. We've seen children bullied. We've seen mosques vandalized. We're one American family, and when any part of our family starts to feel separate or second class or targeted, it tears at the very fabric of our nation. And Thomas Jefferson explained that the Virginia statute for religious freedom, he wrote, was designed to protect all faiths. And I'm quoting Thomas Jefferson now, the Jew and the Gentile, the Christian and the Mohammedan. <laughs> Jefferson and John Adams had their own copies of the Koran. Benjamin Franklin wrote that even if the Mufti of Constantinople were to send a missionary to preach to us, he would find a pulpit at his service. So, so this is not a new thing. Generations of Muslim Americans helped to build our nation.